Well, good morning and welcome to James with Jesus on this Monday, July 18th. I'm going to give a moment for a few folks to start checking in as I normally give a few minutes for that to happen. Um, I wanted to share with you just uh, a scripture reading that this is one of the assigned lectionary texts for this morning. And this is Psalm 119, verse 97 to 104. Uh, and I'll wait for just a few more minutes. Like I said, I normally give people an option to a heads up, but not this morning because I don't have my tripod with me and my other semi-in-studio setup. But again, this is Chambers with Jesus on Monday, July 18th. Psalm 119 is one of the assigned readings for today, beginning at the 97th verse. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all day long. Your commandment your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn away from your ordinances, for you have taught me. How sweeter are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. I've commented before that um, sometimes the, and I apologize for moving the camera around a little bit, <laughs> um, commented before that sometimes we use law and gospel as if in opposition to one another. And although they do fulfill um, different functions, uh, you know, command versus promise, um, but in truth, uh, how vital God's law, God's instructions are for our, our way of living. And I think it was, um, and I'm going to space on her, her name right now. Uh, she did a wonderful book, many, many books. Anyway, one of them happened to talk about just what an amazing society we'd be living in if we fulfilled the Ten Commandments. Um, to, to think that we leave our our windows wide open on cool nights because no fear of anybody breaking in because thou shalt not steal. Um, no worries about injuring one another because thou shalt not murder. And just go down the list and say, wow, what a community that really would be. Not a community that said you can't do all the, these things, but because we choose to do these things the way that we do, uh, what a beautiful a beautiful setting. Now, I know that's idyllic and it's not going to happen this side of the second coming, but it is something to, to strive for. And a community of faith is to be kind of a sign towards that. Um, and then one of the most important things, obviously, is that we demonstrate that we don't fulfill it, that we fail, and God forgives, and we try again. And not like Sisyphus rolling the stone up the hill just to have it come down each time but truly for the Holy Spirit to continue to, to shape us, to fashion us, to form us in a way that is more Christ-like. Um, and so it's, it's, it's a journey for each and every one of us. It's one that we invite people to come participate in, and it's one that we join with others out in the world. So uh, let us pray. Holy God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for the joys that will bring. We pray for the strength and perseverance to uh, overcome any challenges that might come our way. And we give you that, thanks for the blessing of family, the blessing of friends, the blessing of community, and knowing that your church, as the body of Christ, when we are at its best, are continually inviting others that might not have a community um, to be a part of, to say all are truly welcome here, um, not because of me or others, but because of you, that you welcome everyone. So help us share that great message of good news uh, wherever we are. And these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Pastor Josh will be with you tomorrow morning, and I will look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.